Yeah. 100% um, of, of my work that you deserve to be in this room. Um, as Chris Hyman pointed out, you're going to be teaching dance for three days at uh, the Comic Con coming up. Opportunity to try to inspire where he is. The role of a royal peer is in inspiration. It is in fun. It is finding the fun part and getting people to enjoy that, to make people feel welcome and to feel special. Yo, so many years ago, and that was absolutely yo. First <laughs> 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 foot in the last meridian. Uh, at the tournament to decide successors for Bryce Mariana, there was a ball. I did not know there was a ball. I was at the ball at the sudden last minute. Suddenly, there were amongst the many people at the ball. There was a dancer. There were lots of dancers, but there was a dancer. And those of you who know me more than passing well know that I am not the most professional or adept at reaching out and making connections and making friends. It, it, it takes me a minute. Your Majesty's, I am not a rose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> However, if it needs to your approval, I do bear the words of Her Grace, Duquesa Alessandra de Luna. I, Duquesa Alessandra de Luna, would speak for this man. As a member of the Order of the Rose and a royal peer, I would speak of two qualities of this man, service to the crown and the kingdom, and inspiration. I am not sure how long ago I met Master Lorenzo, certainly more than 15 years, maybe even 20 years, and he has been a boon to the kingdom and society as long as I have known him. In that time, some of his service to the kingdom has been very public and very easy to see, serving as baron, holding offices, and teaching classes. But he has also served so much more in quieter, less seen ways, private dance classes so that crowns know the more period dances for their ball help with making garb, even giving a weary princess a place to rest her head on a long voyage. As long as I have known him, he has also served as an inspiration. His talent and passion of so many arts, sewing, research, dance, poetry, and more is inspiring. He shares his knowledge with a joy and enthusiasm that encourages others to try new things and to be just a little more historically accurate. He does not criticize the efforts of others, except for maybe an epic eye rolls when an apprentice is trying to troll him. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, passionately offers knowledge and insight for everyone who asks. 
He is kind, joyful, humble, and inspiring. He is my peer. Is there a knight who would speak on behalf of this candidate? I was wondering what you're doing here. <laughs> I've been here all day. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm Duke Kenneth Gray. I've known this man for as long as he has been in the SCA. He is one of my dearest friends. And though we don't spend as much time together as we used to, and that shames me, I can honestly say that for as long as he has been up here, as a laurel, he has upheld this kingdom's well-being in all he's done. He is already my peer, so thinking about how can, what can I say to show that now in the second period he has grown even more when he was already my equal. Um, I can say I've been thinking about his leadership. One of the pillars that I uphold. Teaching is the easiest aspect of leadership, and of course as a Laurel that's central to what he does, but it's more than that. Because he doesn't just teach people. He teaches people how to be better than himself. Because that's how we grow. That's how we advance. All of his students love him because he makes them better. And I know he loves them because he's proud that they're becoming better. At least he so. <laughs> so I can honestly say that this man, though already a peer, has elevated himself even more. And I would speak surely for him. Because while... Orlando makes us cousins. This man is one of my dearest friends, and if I don't tell him enough, I love him. Aww. doing the leg work to make oh, dance yeah. possible. <laughs> I had to do it. I, I knew that Justina might be a little bit plump, so I had to like <laughs> His service has been exemplary to the dance community from day one. That is his, his love and his passion and his joy. Um, he's going to do it again next weekend. And uh, from doing it here, literally at, at this campus at Saltari, the very first event I ever autocratted, and then going up to do it at Penzik and to do it anywhere anybody will give him a floor. Um, he's always ready to dance and to make it possible for others to dance too. He's from sitting as Baron of your great barony of the South Downs to reconstructing the Meridiers Order of Presidents, which we all use on a fairly regular basis, I hope. Um, <laughs> it's much more user friendly than it ever has been before. Creating the new Royal uh, University database to make getting degrees awarded simpler and more timely. 
uh, which is, a, I feel like, a personal service to me as rum chancellor. Um, but it's more to the service of the entire kingdom, um, helping us craft the new degree program. He's done it all himself. But even more than that, he has assisted stewards, feast crafts, dance teachers, rum chancellors, carons, other barons, new people, all of that. He has been doing this job for years. He is a pelican in all but name. He is my king. Thank you very much. Your Majesty, I have words, but they are not they are not my words. They are words of one who cannot be here. But he wanted to say what I had to do. <coughs> Your Majesty's eye was straight off me of the Order of Defense and the Order of the Pelican Assembly. I'm sure others have already spoken to Lorenzo's breadth and depth of service. I would speak to what makes him a complete master his skill at teaching servants. Lorenzo kind of enjoys pushing people in front of service books. <laughs> he sees service opportunities. He sees in those around him the ability to rise to those opportunities. Then one day, he gets that expression that suggests he just had a random thought. <laughs> and even if he's been sitting on it for months. As he turns towards you to say, I think you should autocrat next midwinter. Or, hey, <coughs> want to be the baronial seneschal? And the learning begins. <laughs> but he doesn't just push others. He goes with them, offering his direct support and counsel and connecting them with the people and resources who help make a daunting task into something mostly painless. <laughs> as long as I've known him, He's been a constant in urging those around him to expand their service, ushering them onto new paths and walking with them on that path. In this way, he's already trained many pelicans. <laughs> it brings me great joy to see him now join their ranks and to assure their majesties he is most worthy of elevation to this world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Majesty. Again, these words are not my own. They come from Baron Mark to Whitney. <laughs> Your Majesty's Meridiers, it is a deep honor to be asked to speak for the populace in support of the ele elevation of Lorenzo Petrusky to the Order of the Pelican. My words will be short because the work of Lorenzo that he does to enrich our great society are constantly evident. When I was Senator, Lorenzo was the top of my list when I needed to find help for any task. And more often than not, I didn't have to. He was already volunteering. When I have stewarded events, nothing seemed too daunting because he was a constant source of help, advice, and guidance. This is who Lorenzo is and has been for as long as I can remember. To list his deeds would make this court unbearably long. When <laughs> <laughs> someone who hasn't been helped to enlist those he has, and I struggle to find anyone he hasn't helped. This is evident to your populace, and it is with our full hearts, with joy to see him justly elevated to the Order of the Pelican in service, Baron Mark to Whitney. Mm. There we go,
feel free to put up and Valerie didn't want it. Reach your order.